It sounds a little like something out of The Hunger Games. To better understand how predators and prey behave in the wild, researchers from Université Laval set up a game of human tag in Valmorin in the Laurentians. David Bolduc is a doctoral student in ecology at Université Laval and designed the game. Thanks so much for coming on the program. Hey, thanks for having me. So uh, how does this game work exactly and how does it connect to science? It's super simple. We were really inspired by the game of tag we were playing as a child. So when uh, we designed the game, we thought about uh, what do we need to make this game similar to what's happening in nature? So basically, you need reasons for prey players to move around. Uh, so that's why we set up little posts like you see on the screen where uh, players can collect resources. And you have these apex predators in red that are running around and trying to catch the prey players. Um, we created uh, speed differences between players so uh, predators can run, whereas prey can only walk around. And prey have some places where they can seek refuge in the landscape. So with these basic rules, we were kind of able to uh, simulate uh, some phenomenon we were observing in nature. And, and what side were you on? Were you prey or predator? Oh, I tried everything. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's really, really fun to play. So you want to play as much as possible and in a bunch of different scenarios to uh, experiment, uh, experiment everything. OK, so which, which character, I suppose, was hardest for you or, or most difficult or most adrenaline? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, when you play as a prey player, you're more stressed but you don't have to run as much. Whereas when you're a predator, you need to run a lot, uh, but you don't have to seek refuge from anybody. So it's very two different versions of life and you can experiment, experiment both with that game. Okay, so in tag, um, there usually is a winner. Is there a winner in this scenario? Uh, no, there's only losers. Uh, so <laughs> if uh, so, usually we play for about 30 minutes per game. And uh, if you're a prey player, you need to collect a, a certain amount of resource and make sure that you don't get caught by a, by a predator. Okay. Uh, whereas if you're a predator, well, you need to catch at least one prey player to survive uh, the game. Otherwise, you kind of starve. Okay, all right, so that's uh, that's pretty significant. <laughs> no winners here and just losers. And, but at the same time, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you all wore GPS trackers. And, and so what did you learn through this exercise? Because it sounds like a whole lot of fun, but in the end, what did you learn? Um, well, the main thing we learned is that in some cases, uh, we as humans can be used as proxies for uh, animals in nature. Um, so we we took our cell phones and we had uh, GPS apps on them and we were able to see from the movement of, of players that our movement is not so different from the movement of animals in nature. Uh, the biggest example we can we can take from that is uh, uh, predator players were using trails a lot similarly to what uh, let's say a wolf would do in a forest where uh, humans have created roads uh, wolves will use roads a lot and uh, with that we'll be able to collect more prey to detect more prey in the landscape so um, for us uh, roads were areas of high risk for prey because predators were there a lot and that's something we see in nature and that's creating a lot of problem for some uh, prey populations. Yeah, for sure. And uh, so will you do this kind of thing again? Will you play the game again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're planning to make another uh, another session of playing in the in the coming year. Uh, it's really a great tool to spark uh, interesting discussions and to learn about uh, animal behavior or predator and prey theory. It's really, really nice. Oh, it's, it's fascinating. I wish I had that kind of thing when I was in college and university. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for telling us about it. Hey, it was a pleasure.